Race of Diamonds for me is just one of the highlights of the year. Um, it's not something I ever thought I would have the chance to do, to be honest, but it's always something that I've watched and I can't believe this is my second year doing it. Um, I never thought I'd even be invited in the first place, but it's such a cool event. Um, seeing, you know, so many of my heroes and so many people I look up to, some of the greats in the sport going head to head and having the opportunity to do that uh, myself is something that, yeah, I'm definitely pinching myself about. Yeah, I don't think the circuit drivers get to really show your skills, like about the braking points <laughs> yeah. and the precision. Like none yeah. of that really applies here. Yeah, it's more natural for rally drivers than for racing drivers. Yeah, for sure. But it's a cool ride to watch. It's super exciting. Yeah, I really like the format. It's cool to be a part. Of. Yeah, we'll I think you will have a good day. We'll I saw, I saw the table there. I think you can make it far. We'll give it a go. Yeah, if I, because it got quite a nice progression. If I do yeah. win, so we'll see. Yeah, good luck. Cool. The race of champions is a promise. A promise of thrilling motorsport action, world-class drivers, and extraordinary locations and racetracks. Today's individual day, so we're all out for ourselves. Um, we've done all on random, so the cars are gonna be selected basically out of a hat. I think I've got the Polaris first, um, and then I don't actually know what I've got second, so kind of adds to the challenge. Um, I've got Seb Vettel first, so it's not gonna be easy, but looking forward to it, and hopefully we can get a bit further today. As you say, conditions out there today, absolutely stunning. Beautiful weather for racing here in Peter Habsbad. I think a lot of people wanna be a part of Rock, um, A, because so many of the greats are going. Um, you know, I just, to be in a room with a lot of those people, um, you know, I definitely go all the way to Sweden for. Um, but also, I guess, the experience of the competitive nature, being able to go head to head against the best um, in the world in absolute equal machinery. Also going back to snow and ice, um, it's a challenge that um, I guess a lot of us racing drivers don't get the, the chance to do often, so I'm looking forward to that. We have the green light and we're off. Chadwick on the outside in the red car, Vettel on the inside in the black car, uh, back into the Polaris Razors once again, uh, and Chadwick loving it out there on the, on the snow and ice this weekend. I think at this moment it's pretty equal so far. It's all up for grabs. Seb knows how much you can abuse this car, how much you can ride the banks, use it almost to, to turn and pinch the car if you get those banks in the right moment. Chadwick over the jump, nice and measured from her. Over the line, Chadwick will of course have the uh, faster time, having had that outside faster line for the first half of the lap. It's exactly like for like, you don't really ever get that opportunity in racing, so um, I guess the egos in all of us just want to be able to prove ourselves and have the opportunity to do that. Chadwick now on that tighter inside line, rounding towards the end of the lap, and it's a frustrating end for the drivers here, because you have to cut back right under the tunnel, then a really hard left, flicking back right onto the start-finish stretch. As if you have the, uh, the outside track over the jump, and Vettel will have this one easily. Already over the jump as Chadwick takes the final corner. Vettel takes the win. Chadwick comes home one and a half seconds behind Sebastian Vettel. I, that's why I was like, if I do a tidy lap, I hope he makes a mistake. Yeah, don't care about tidy, yeah. just fucking go for it. I think I definitely feel a bit of pressure, you know, 
being a woman in the sport. Um, I think mainly because I don't want, you know, my success or even not success to reflect on a whole gender. You know, if I go on to do well um, or not do well even, then that shouldn't make it seem black and white whether women are capable of having success in the sport. Vettel versus Chadwick. It's a one win a piece for them over the course of this weekend. Today, champion of champions is 1-0 to Sebastian Vettel. The gap, one and a half seconds. So Chadwick needs to win by more than 1.5 seconds if she is going to knock out Sebastian Vettel. Have clean, just go. Okay. Yeah. So many other women before me, and there will be after me that you know will be successful um, in the sport. So I definitely feel a bit of pressure in that sense, but also at the same time I feel it is a positive, I guess, in terms of a responsibility that I have to to make sure that the barriers that I might face or you know women still will face in the sport because it is so male dominated. I can knock those barriers down, but also make sure that they don't come back up for the next person um, coming along because we do need to make the sport more inclusive. We do need to make it more diverse. And in my opinion, there's no reason why it can't be like that. So um, yeah, we should see uh, a greater split between men and women in the sport. Chadwick 5.7 back. So Vettel definitely with that advantage. Close, but also, yeah, had the margin on me. I think it's so tricky when you just jump in and you just gotta get used to it. I've been in the rally cross car since Thursday, so I was way too slow to get up to speed. But still, good fun. Um, I don't feel too bad about being beaten by uh, someone like Seb, um, young Jamie, or even Jamie now. I uh, still pinch myself to be here, so um, yeah, a bit disappointed, but still uh, a lot of confidence. But you only feel as good as your last race, um, so you've always feel. I always feel like I have to perform and. You know, that's got to always be the focus. If, if I'm not performing, there's a reason and I need to focus on that. And, you know, it's not easy. Um, it's, wouldn't be, if it was easy, everyone, <laughs> everyone would do it. But um, yeah, I think you can definitely control the environment that you're in and make or give yourself the best opportunity or put yourself with the best foot forward. But absolutely not what I thought, you know, it would have ended up like this. And I'm not just saying that. Um, and it really is because it started as a hobby and I did it because I enjoyed it. And I was very lucky that it kind of transitioned slowly into something a bit more and really just very fortunate with the timing of, I guess, where my career is going, that these opportunities and these doors are created for, for more women because that's really what's been making the difference for me. The likes of W Series giving me this this platform and now DHL and Andretti coming in to support this next step. I'm, I'm very lucky. That's a wrap on Race of Champions this year. Um, yeah, it's been a good good event. I mean, it's always so cool to be a part of this and come here. Um, seeing the names that are on sort of the list of drivers that I go up against is honestly mind blowing. Uh, a bit disappointed not to have made it out of the first round today against Seb um, and yesterday as well was a bit of a short day but even still, like I said, the experience was awesome. Just being here in Sweden, having the chance to drive on snow and ice like this has, has been incredible and yeah, hopefully we can come back next year and go even better.